Uncertainty hangs over the World Football Governing Body's FIFA Congress that is set for tomorrow, during which the elections will be held. UEFA President Michel Platini asked FIFA's President Seb Blatter to resign in the wake of the massive corruption claims leveled on the senior officials of FIFA. Blatter, however, refused to step down and even insisted that the elections will go on as scheduled. European Football Association UEFA do not want Friday's FIFA presidential election to go ahead after bribery and racketeering charges were leveled against senior FIFA officials. U.S. law enforcement officials shook up and vowed to clean up the world of soccer governing body with a 47-count indictment charging top FIFA officials from Latin America and the Caribbean and the several South Florida-based executives with enriching themselves by participating in a $150 million U.S. dollar bribery scheme during the past two decades. Fourteen defendants charged in the indictment we are unsealing today include high-ranking officials of FIFA, the international organization responsible for regulating and promoting soccer, leaders of regional and other governing bodies under the FIFA umbrella, and sports marketing executives who, according to the indictment, paid millions of dollars in bribes and kickbacks to obtain lucrative media and marketing rights to international soccer tournaments. This investigation uh, has been long and painstaking and it is not over and the work will continue until all of the corruption is uncovered and a message is sent around the world that this conduct will not be tolerated. The FBI further raided headquarters of the football body CONCACAF, the Confederation of North, Central American and Caribbean Association Football in Miami Beach. Meanwhile, former Vice President Jack Warner spent the night in jail in Trinidad after handling himself to the police. Prosecutors announced racketeering conspiracy and other charges against 14 defendants, including the nine current and former FIFA officials. The 47-count indictment against these individuals includes charges of racketeering, wire fraud, and money laundering conspiracies spanning two decades. This really is the World Cup of fraud. And today we are issuing FIFA a red card. The FBI investigation has taken seven years to come to fruition, but there is no warrant for self blatter. Maybe it is to come. The United States Department of Justice is alleging corruption that is rampant, systematic, and deep rooted, and has taken place on Blatter's watch, but he still clings to power and wants a re election vote.